you know who I am, and you know what I do, and you know what I do it for, and it's most certainly for you patients out there. Oh, yeah, it's Mr. Machismo, and he's back in the, excuse me, what I meant to say was, it's Dr. Rectango, and we're back for another reaction and review, and today's subject matter is something that takes me back to my old job in which I worked retail. If you've ever had the opportunity to work retail, you hate your life, you hate yourself, because you just don't know what you're getting roped into. Because ladies and gentlemen, when you work retail, it's nothing but long hours, low wages, and customers literally doing everything possible to try your patience at all times. They'll do anything. They'll go over here, put them in a coffin, knock down a display on purpose, drop milk, expect people to clean it up. Then at the same time, they'll look at you with a straight face, coming up there with $8,000 worth of groceries, only got $10 on the EBT card and on the credit, and they'll be like, hey, you know what? You already bagged them, though. So, uh, you feel me, fam? Like, mate, uh, I'm going to just leave. I'm not, you just got to put all that back. And, like, you just want, because you should know that $10 ain't nowhere near the $8,000 worth of groceries that you put into, like, these six carts that you had going through a conga line. Abs just absol absolutely ridiculous. Like, ladies and gentlemen, let's be honest. When you work at a store, it's like, it teaches you to profile people because you see all types of people and you just start putting people's faces to archetypes. It's unnecessary. It may be going too far, but let's be honest. If you work retail, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But regardless, let's see what's going on when a female thief gets jumped after getting caught stealing from Walmart. I can tell this is going to be bad already, so let's get into it. This is how you catch a thief in the air. Like, what the hell does she think she's doing? What? Watch this. Yes. Yeah, she walked in here with me. Wait, so she... All right. So she had a bandana on her head and they put another bandana on her head, but it looked like she had change in her bandana. Like she stole change from somebody, put it in the bandana and then wrapped it on their head. So they change with st this change that they stole would be on their head. Like what the fuck? Did she steal water or something like that as well? Like what the fuck? Like who steals change? She didn't go out there and fight that other girl. She thinks she's a real queen. Wait, no, pause, 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 no, pause, pause. Rewind this, rewind this. Last I checked, let me take this off. Let me just take this off. Last I checked, there's a slogan out there for all stores that goes, no shirt, no shoes, no service. Let me reiterate that for you one time. No shirt, no shoes, no service. First off, Walmart is one of the most terrible hygienic stores of all time. Like, you put bare feet on those floors, I'm expecting your feet to fall off tomorrow. I'm expecting you to get chlamydia on your feet, herpes on your feet, elephantitis. I'm expecting you to get feet that look like Charles Barkley's Charles testicles, if you know what I mean. If any of you played Shut Up and Jam Gliding, you know what I'm talking about. I'm expecting your feet to look like swollen basketballs by the end of the evening. You are taking an infinite plethora of amount of risks walking on a Walmart floor with bare feet, madam. Surely your intelligence level cannot be up there with the highest level of IQs, but my God, you have to know better than that. She walked in here with me. She walked in here with me. She finna go out there and fight that she other girl. She thinks she's a And apparently she's got to go out there and fight someone else, according to the filmer. Walking with nothing in her hand, nothing on her feet. Wait, she stole a water. She really did steal a water. And then put the water bottle that they stole in the bag that they already drank out of. <laughs> and now you're calling attention to yourself by coughing. What are hey, you doing? Hey, 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 hey. Wait a minute. So she's got a bandana. She's got a beanie, which looks like she also stole. Her shirt's all, all just, that's just trashy. You ain't got no shoes on. And as far as I'm concerned, don't tell me you're going to turn around and just, like, notice that these people are not only filming you, but you know you're caught. They're trying to get your attention, and you're just going to try to casually... Okay, let's see how this ends out. I need one up here right now. I'm going to try to find all this, fuck. It's Kmart, bitch. I lost my earpiece. She did not, she, no, that did not just happen. She didn't say that. No, she didn't say that. She couldn't be, you could not be dumb enough to allow a shutdown of your frontal lobe and your cerebellum and all the other functioning parts of your cranial cap and all the things that are in the confines of it and utter those words. No wordsmith on this planet would allow themselves to ever coherently make those statements inside of Walmart. Please tell me she didn't say that. Four down. I need 
You can call the 5 0. I got that. What did you say after that? This Kmart, bitch. This Kmart, bitch. This Kmart, bitch. On what earth do you think as Kmart, bitch? Would you, does that make you hard? Did that give you some street cred? Does that make you a boss? I'm, I'm confused. Like, you're trying to steal from Walmart, and then you ain't even wearing shoes in the Walmart. Then you say, you can call the police on me. And now you're going to say, it came up. Uh, you have. Have fun. Have a good day. Have a good day. Where yeah, please. is it? Have a good day. Where's your receipt? Tell have a good day. Have a good day. Uh, no, 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 no. Have a good day. You see me? Buck at me one more time, little mama. You lucky I'm on a clock. Wait, this guy's on the clock? This isn't a clock? He works here? He's doing this? Yo, the, the projects of Walmart is just, I've just completely underestimated this. I understand this is a world star hip hop, but come on, Walmart, your employees is, what? All right, let's talk about all the things that are wrong that happened in the last, the last, like, few seconds here. So, let me get this straight. They asked to see your receipt from the store that you're stealing. No, and damn well, you don't have a receipt. You see me? And you walked, you turned around and went back towards the store, in the store, have a good day. Have a good day. You see me, buck. And then you go, what type, what type of form was that? Look like a wounded moose trying to buck. Just ugh. It wasn't a. That wasn't a fight. That wasn't a real fierce punch. That was like a. Ooh, like it curved. Like it was a dolphin emerging from the water and it going back, submerging itself back underwater. That these these are all the wrong reads being one made more here. Time, mama. You lucky I'm on a clock. I ain't got I time for them games. Up here swinging at us. Come I'm on, little mama. Playing. Have a good day. Because I bet you ain't going to come back up here with that noise or that mess. Where? Wait a minute. You're a thief, right? You're a thief, right? And the objective of being a thief is to take the item and then get away. Yeah, because someone challenged the manliness of your clitoris, you're going to be stupid enough to turn around and come back here, aren't you? Because, look, she's literally like, no one's going to catch her. She's gone. She can turn the corner. Poof, she disappears like the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. She's out. She's made it, mate. There's nothing more for you to say. She's gone. She stole from you on camera, and she won because she would have disappeared. But have it looks day. like she's Boy, coming back. Oh, my day. Lord. Come on, what's up? No. Wait, who is this? Get a Street Fighter now? We got a new don't challenger? Y'all stop. Don't. What's Please up? don't, baby. What's Please up? Don't. What's up? Please don't. Hey, hey, hey. Please don't. No. 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 Hey, don't stop. 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 Yep, and I let it happen on Walmart clock. And? Might be. And what? I guess if you're filming something like this and you got to make sure that everyone knows that you are the one that filmed it, but you ain't do nothing. You, you said, she's stealing. And then you said, don't buck at me. And now you're saying, and I let it happen. What could you have done to stop it? You didn't do anything to stop it. You, 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 literally, you being there, outside of saying, yo, she's stealing, changed none of the outcome. Your input was probably the least valuable. But I guess if you got the camera, you know, you could always do that, uh, <laughs> Those end the game edits. Yeah, it was me. Yeah, I did this. Yeah, I got it. I, I don't even know, man. This is how you but she came in there with no shoes on. I'm just bewildered. No shoe, no none. Didn't care about getting floor aids from Walmart. <laughs> just not, just not a care in the world. I'm, I'm baffled. I mean, I used to work retail, and ladies and gentlemen, like I said, it's the worst thing you could do. It's depressing as all hell. But I did have someone try to steal one time. I go up to my manager, like, yeah, the guy's over there stealing. He came in with a book bag. They start filling up with all of our stuff. Manager gonna look me in a straight face and be just like this. Did you watch him the entire time? Motherfucker, how am I gonna watch him the entire time if I had to come up here to relay the message to you on what was happening in your store? Well, if you ain't watching the entire time, I can't confirm that they're stealing. We got cameras. Use the cameras. Can't you use the cameras? There's nothing we can do. So at that point, you could have stole right in front of me. From that point on, I wouldn't. I had nothing to say because, like, what's the point? Like, I would have had to like tell one of my employees, one of my coworkers, "Hey, dog, that guy's stealing. I'm gonna watch him now." Excuse me, rectangle. Have you been watching the entire time? Like a hawk.
even though I can't see for shit without my glasses, but like a hawk. Like, that's literally what they expected us to do, even if, like, we worked in a part of the store where, oh, I don't know, let's just say for the sake of the argument, you were the only one on staff that day, so there's no way you could really just reach out and call. Yeah, it's great. Good stuff. Yeah, great A stuff there, ladies and gentlemen. But it's regardless, at the end of the day, I don't know what the hell was going on. That looked like a hot mess. That looked like a whole bunch of tomfoolery, buffoonery that was just completely unnecessary, did not need to be seen. It was, at the end of the day, depressing. Like, I felt depressed watching that, to be fairly honest with you. But I feel as though this happens more often than it should, and probably more often than you even think it does. Because I, I just don't, I just don't understand how people in the society function. It's like if someone has a chance to record something on camera and get quote unquote hype for it, they will do it regardless of who else it hurts. Damn be them. Damn be anybody else's well being in the core confines of this video as long as I get the views. That's some fucked up shit. That's some real fucked up shit.